everyone and welcome to another manga recommendations video. This is for the Shonen series plus Anima. It's written by Natsume Mukai and is 10 volumes altogether. It was published between 1999 and 2005 in Japan and was completely released by Tokyo Pop before they went out of business. Uh, it's a fantasy adventure sort of story with uh, characters that have sort of animal traits, uh, they're a bit hybrid -y, sort of mutant characters, similar to something like the Animorphs, might give you a, a kind of idea. Um, but despite its kind of uh, cutesy or uh, upbeat look, it, it does actually handle a lot of uh, darker issues. It's a lot darker than it seems. Um, it, it handles things like uh, race discrimination and, and marginalization or isolation because of that, uh, being an outcast and searching for acceptance. It's the story of four kids, um, all under the age of about 16, who for various reasons in their lives have developed these um, animal traits, wings, fishtail, claws, that sort of thing. And in their world, in their magic fantasy world, uh, that happens when your life is put at risk. It's kind of a survival mechanism allowing you to um, live, really. So their lives were in danger at some point, and then they've, they've changed to kind of survive that. Uh, even though that's the case, there's a lot of uh, discrimination, as I mentioned, in in within society, and there's quite uh, <laughs> unpleasant things like human experimentation, a lot of abuse, and a lot of survivor's guilt as well in this story. Uh, surprisingly, because you wouldn't really uh, expect that from a cover like this. Um, I'll show the covers. The, as you can see, a lot of them are actually nicer, horizontal. And this is volume one with our two, well, our main character and another main character on there. This is volume two. Volume three. Volume four, volume five, volume six, volume seven, volume eight. Volume 9, and finally, Volume 10. Now, as I said, it's the story of these four kids. They travel together as a group, looking for somewhere where they can live in peace. They don't have to worry about being attacked or um, being found out. They, they just want to kind of coexist with with everyone without having to worry. But there's other things going on there as well. You learn a lot about individual characters as the story progresses. Inside you can see it's quite a almost shoujo looking uh, series. And I think that, that works in its favour because it these kids are young, they've got uh, kind of <laughs> this unassuming air about them, but it does kind of trick you into uh, your expectations of what this what this series is really about. <laughs> as I as I mentioned, you wouldn't really guess the subject matter from the art style. 
Uh, but overall, it's a very interesting read. It's uh, not that long, uh, only 10 volumes, although they are probably quite out of print nowadays. But it's certainly something to look out for, especially if you enjoy things uh, that have characters with animal kind of um, things going on with powers or transformation, that sort of thing. Um, recommendation wise, uh, manga, I would recommend Dawn of the Arcana, which I think is being released by Yen Press. Fruits Basket, which has kind of a similar idea, but it's much more shoujo. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really deal with the same the l same level of uh, some of these issues that Plus Anima does. But it, it has that kind of animal transformation um, thing in it. Uh, Cardcaptor Sakura, which I think is a good another good example of where a cute art style doesn't really uh, prepare you for the dark themes within it, e but <laughs> that could be said for most of Clamp's work. Uh, but I think D Card Capture Sakura, whilst it has a different uh, kind of story and idea behind it, it tonally it, it's quite similar. And uh, Chikyu Misaki is something that has kind of animal characters who turn human, but it's a lot, a lot cuter and a lot, uh, there's no, like, dark, deep, hidden meaning underneath that. That's just a cute little fluff series. Um, and yes, this one's not, uh, like, at the top of my list t to say go read it now, but it is something that I do think a lot of people have skipped over. And it is surprisingly good. Um, if you can find uh, the Tokyo Pop volumes, I do... Um, I, I say give it a try, because you you might enjoy it. Especially if you're wanting more adventure fantasy uh, series, and you've, you've completely tapped out on that. <laughs> but thank you for watching this video. Um, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks.